Hello, beautiful people. Good morning. Another day here in the hospital. And nurse MJ just clocked in. Patient is here. Good morning, guys. Morning. <laughs> What's up, Pamina? Kira. Kira. Mas maayo kaysa sa una. Papa said he's feeling a bit better than how he was before. Okay, so. Papa did, again, a successful first hemodialysis yesterday. It took four hours. And today, I just went to the cashier and I had to pay his second session of dialysis, which is 5,333 pesos, guys. So here in Sugar Doctors, the, what do you call this? The procedures, yeah, that needs to be done has to be paid before they are going to do it. So earlier, um, the cashier didn't have internet and like we were waiting there in order to pay for it. And then the nurse station has been calling here already that they need to um, bring Papa to the dialysis room to do his second session. But then um, I have not like paid it. So they're like, okay, we have to pay it first. So yeah, I was waiting there the entire time and finally internet is back, so I paid it. And now I think they're coming here um, to bring Papa to the dialysis room. So I think it's gonna take another four hours, guys. And yesterday, he actually did a lot of progress. Um, it was the very first time that I saw him eat a lot. And I was so happy to see him actually eat a lot of rice and a lot of um, beef soup as well. So this morning, he also ate he had milk, <laughs> he doesn't, like normally he drinks coffee, but this time he's asking for milk, that's so crazy. Um, yeah, he doesn't drink milk at all, but like I feel like his body's asking for it, or I don't know, but yeah, he has just been requesting for milk. So yeah, he has milk, and then um, I think he had some uh, sky flakes, like biscuits with sis earlier. So sis is now um, working today, and then sis will have to go home tonight, to Scarlett because Scarlett has just been um, crying every night. They're doing video call every night um, with sister because she's actually not used to having sis not around when they're sleeping because she always like sleeps with her. But yeah, so sis will go home tonight and then um, the one that will take care of Papa or will accompany Papa tonight is going to be Razo. So Razo will be here after her shift at 8 p.m and then I will go home. So I will be here from 7 in the morning until 8 p.m. tonight, guys. So yeah, this is the scenario. Uh, we don't really have a lot of people we can ask to like take turns in um, taking care of Papa. So we always need to have at least one person here because there are some medicines that needs to be purchased downstairs or we need to like, um, you know, attend to Papa if he needs something. So yeah, we always need to have at least one person here with him. Like we can't really leave him alone. So yeah, anyway, second dialysis today. Let's see how would it go. Papa is still high blood, by the way. Like his um, blood pressure is 170, like earlier this morning. So yeah, that's still really high. So that's why he is still taking medicine for that. And then he's coughing. So they're actually, um, they were asking for a sputum so they can check if there's also like something in his lungs or I don't know, we'll see. And then, yeah, hey, I'll take you guys with me today. Hopefully we can get through today. Last night, I actually slept at 7 p.m. I can't believe I did that. I don't know, like my body was just so exhausted and I feel like it has something to do with my mind as well. Like when I arrived, I was just like, sleep through like the entire time and then i wake up at 12 midnight and then went back to sleep again i don't know why i'm so tired when i'm just actually just here in the room <sighs> anyway so that's pretty much it we'll see how the day goes hopefully we have some big progress today and maybe we can check his creatinine level if it actually went down
Hello everybody, good afternoon, time check. Right now, it is already 3 in the afternoon. Papa just got back from dialysis. Oh my gosh, that took super long. Actually, it should only take 4 hours. But this time, um, when Papa was on the way coming back here, um, his neck was bleeding again. Where the they insert the thing, look, it's bleeding again. So yeah, we've already called the surgeon for that to... I don't know what they're gonna do. Yesterday, they also did that um, after Papa's dialysis. It was also bleeding, so we had to stop it. Like, I cannot even look at it. Like, mm, like I don't know, like my body feels very weak whenever I see blood. So that has been my weakness. My sis was just here earlier um, to just like put tissue and all that. But yeah, anyway, so the uh, Papa's kidney doctor, um, Dr. Gerard Uy. Actually, we were just here a few minutes ago and he was talking to us like how is Papa, like the progress and all that. So he said that there is a possibility that we will be able to be discharged tomorrow because um, our hospital bill is actually going up really fast. Um, yeah, um, so I think Papa will undergo another dialysis tomorrow and then we can be discharged so that um you know we can just do outside patient dialysis we're still gonna do it here in super doctors because it's easy access because this work is just in front of the hospital so she can be here as his papa and all that but um yeah so we're gonna see i'm not sure um what laboratory we have to undergo again in order for us to check the creatinine level and um his wellness because um, his legs is actually still swelling, but I can see his um, skin is slowly going back to normal. His face is not as um, swollen as well. Currently sleeping right now. Look, <laughs> he was actually talking to the doctor earlier, and yeah, he was said thank you so much, doc. Papa said salamat kay doc. Um, also, Doctor Bimbo Tequilio went here again, and he said he is going to help us. Um, look for a a cheaper um, dialysis clinic for Papa once we will be discharged here. Um, Dr. Bimbo Tikilio has been very good to us guys. He's been very helpful um, in order for us to lower our cost here. So he was the one who suggested to Dr. Uy um, if we are going to be able to be discharged tomorrow or the next day. So we shall see um hopefully we'll be able to discharge because i think papa needs to have that fresh air um in the countryside and you know i know it's gonna be very hot though like look at cebu right now it's super duper hot but yeah we'll see i'm gonna update you guys later on i'm just gonna roll this one down because it's very hot right now
<laughs> and then I'm working here. Look, guys, uploading a vlog. And then Papa is here watching his TV. We just changed the bed sheet and we just changed him with a new lap gown as well. He's taking a rest. It's not bleeding anymore. Or is it bleeding again? I think it's not bleeding. Nagdugo pa? And then watching TV guys. This is our situation. Hello, honey is there. And then working. Hello everybody, update right now. It's currently 9.20 in the evening and earlier there was actually a doctor and also a nurse that was putting pressure in Papa's fistula in the neck because it was bleeding again. So every time he does um, hemodialysis, there's always a bleeding like every time he moves and whatnot. So the doctor actually said um, in some patients this could happen because the kidney is still not functioning well. So yeah, as you guys can see, Papa's lab gown has some blood in it. We actually just changed him into a new lab gown. I think you guys have seen that earlier. And then we changed the beddings and then there's another blood. But yeah, anyway, um, I've actually uploaded already the news about Papa's um, kidney failure and I'm reading the comments and I'm being so I'm being moved by all of you guys' comments. Thank you so much for you know um, for the prayers um, for Papa's speedy recovery. Thank you guys for sharing your experiences as well with um, your parents that it also happened to them. Um, yeah, I just um, hope that we try to make the comment section positive because that's what I actually need now. I know you can see that I'm like so positive, but yeah, deep inside when I'm not here in the hospital anymore, I can't really sleep well. Like I'm just overthinking a lot about all of this that's happening. It has just been only, what, three days that we found out about Papa's um, diagnosis and disease. Um, so yeah, anyway, I am reading a few comments as well. <laughs> you guys are so mad at me and feeding Papa banana. The banana was not coming from me, okay? I was just peeling the banana and it was coming from the the hospital. So um, after that meal, they actually took the, the food that they brought to Papa because they changed it since the doctor changed his diet, all right? So I'm just pretty much feeding him what they are giving him because I know that that is the doctor's recommendation so don't come after me okay i'm really trying my best but yeah that's just how it is no matter how good or bad you are people has always something to say okay a lot of you guys are also saying that if papa has feel health so papa has never worked in a corporate world he has never he never had feel health but uh, papa is actually a dependent in mommy's feel feel health because they are married so um it's good we can use that in the final bill for now we cannot make use of his fill health but once we get discharged hopefully soon then that's when um we can use mom's fill health for papa what else um thank you guys for saying that you're not gonna skip ads that's a really big help um just watch the video all throughout and do not skip ads that's one way of helping us um especially with the bill that's running now. I don't know how much is it. The billing did not actually come here today, but normally they would have like a daily um, report. And then what else? Please stay strong, praying for your papa. Thank you guys so much for all of the prayers. I really, um, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for um, giving me the strength um, that we can do this. 
I really appreciate all the positive comments and um, also the recommendations where we can ask for help. DSWD, thank you for that. Um, we're gonna go there and try to ask for help. PCSO as well, we're gonna try. And of course, Phil Health and maybe some of the politicians here in Zebu City. So yeah, hopefully um, we can do that. Currently, I am actually waiting for Razel. It's her turn to clock in. She's on the way here now. Razel has been a really huge help, by the way, because I didn't even ask her to do that. She just volunteered herself that um, she wants to take care of Papa at night at least. So yeah, Razel is very, very good. Um, even if she's, she has work, you know, because when you're in the hospital, you cannot really sleep well because there's nurse coming in, coming out. And then if you're the guardian or you're the companion of the patient, they will really have to wake you up and tell you what are the things that they're going to do to Papa. For example, nebulization or they're going to do like a blood pressure check or they're going to do like something else. So yeah, anyway, let's wait for Razel right now and... I'm gonna go home like I'm so tired <laughs> like every time I'm in the hospital. I feel like I don't know. I just get super like physically tired guys nurse MJ is clocking out <laughs> nurse Raza <laughs> clocking in <laughs> night, shift. <laughs> night shift she just finished work and now she's working again oh my gosh 24 hours 24 hours work Oy. <laughs> grabby all right so um, I actually need to pay something again this is gonna be for his CBC K I don't know what's K B U N so many and then Kriya. Okay, so Kriya is creatinine. This is the 33, right? So at least this time we will be able to know what's um papa's creatinine. Because it has to go down to one. <laughs> Imagine guys, let's pray. Okay, so I don't know where was I cut off guys, but um anyway um so yeah here in super doctors they're not gonna proceed with any procedure or examination if you have not paid so yeah i have to pay this one which is two thousand pesos for cbc k b u n and korea so at least maybe they're gonna do this one tomorrow um i was actually being cut off earlier because someone went inside to bring another lab gown for Papa because I requested for it since he was bleeding again and I cannot see him with all the blood all over his lab gown actually so yeah here he is now he is looking clean no more blood in there let's see wala na nag bleed wala na nag bleed guys huh tada okay so sorry for anyone eating but yeah okay so Razzle is Gonna be Papa's guardian tonight. Thank you very much. I'm the nurse. The nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna eat, sir? Are you hungry? 
Tong it na lang. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have tong it's tonight. <laughs> because these two <laughs> likes to play tong it's. <laughs> Did you bring? Singko singko lang mo. Nabi to siya dos mil siyang wallet. We saw Papa's wallet. He's got 2,000 pesos. Wow! So much money, man. Why? Ato na ba yung dialysis? Oh, it's not even enough for one one session for dialysis. That's so crazy. How much kaya mo sa session? Five thousand three hundred thirty-three. One session. So na mo pay na pay nga. Yeah. So no, you have to pay it a night before. So I paid the one for tomorrow already. So what are the discount? No, because the fill help you can only use it on the on the final billing na. So I think they're gonna deduct it. I'm not sure how how does it go. But yeah, uh, the subscriber said we can ask how for PCSO, DSWD, like uh, mayor's office. Sa panabiha. Okay, yes, guys. Salamat sa mga recommendations. Where else can we go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I don't know what's our running balance now because last time it was 111 so I don't know okay so Razzle and I are gonna go to the canteen she's gonna get Papa's milk he's as actually asking for it okay na ka kumusta may mong pamati may na iuli may na iuli he wants to go home already guys nakikin nga rin sa toa ba no Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because we are in the four corner room, you know, he said <laughs> Papa said he feels like he's in a prison. <laughs> he wants to have the fresh air. He wants to go home already mm -hmm. Then make sure your creatinine goes to zero. I mean goes to one, <laughs> to one. So we can go home Right Katoy mong kriya ba? Na 33? Dapat may mong uno. Ang saka mo na. 33 man. Okay, so Papa wants to go home. Of course, we can go home soon. Finally. Alright guys, let's go. Tanto na ko. Let's go. Tana.